Hello. Speak. Quick, I haven't got all day. Can't stay away. Don't want to go in the house. Don't blame you. Need something? Get away. Gone with you. Go now. Remove the blindfold. You said I could trust you. You said. You. Oh, look. It's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? Then I trust you. That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing. Pausing for effect. A moment, hon. Ahem. <clears throat> It's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end. And I threw the little runts down a well. Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Jessalyn. Poor little Jesse Lamb has vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. No, I won't let the workers have her. They won't rest, and they want Jessalyn just like they took sh No, don't you worry. You can't have her. You have taken enough. Yes. You want my help? I'm not a helper. Oh, if you keep my secret, then I'll help. Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. Boo. Now my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. I had to come out here because of you. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. You do. Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. Your funeral. You can tell them where I am, but I will always be one step ahead of you. Always. She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. I don't want to talk about it. Should I even have to? Look at me down here, and she's up there. I try not to hate her, but I can't help it. She could have been good to me. She could have been there when I needed someone, but she wasn't. The Wade Man of Alcatraz. Don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. The world of the dead, he understands that. No, she was my big sister. I know. No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore, says the girl who's never seen a drop of rain fall on her perfect life. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. You just didn't know what you were asking. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. I don't know. Go ask her yourself. Troubled? No, I was an angel, and I must have been quite the genius charmer, too, because one day they shipped me off, straight to the most elite private boarding school on the East Coast. At least that's what I believed was happening, until we were creeping up the long and whirly black driveway, and I caught my first glimpse of the bars on the windows. I became the first Thornton to be admitted to the Millicent P. Krauthammer Sanitarium for Criminally Insane Girls and Women of Good Social Standing. 
I'm one of the few girls to actually graduate from that program. I got a little diploma that says Harper's no longer a danger to herself or others and everything. And just yesterday, the Alumni Association sent me one of them dried macaroni pictures, inviting me to speak at a function. But as you can see, I am otherwise engaged. Why don't you ask your beloved Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? Did she cry? And if she did, was it one stoic little tear like she was going for one of the movie awards? Or was it a big, snuffly, ugly cry? Oh, she's an ugly cry. I hate to bring that to the table, but it is the truth. Oh, she's a big girl now. The truth shouldn't upset her. Don't look at me like that. I'm bored down here, and she's done worse to me. Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? Tell them. They won't believe you. <laughs> the hits keep coming. <gasps> You're a doll, a real peach. Ew! Ooh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks? After the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? No, I am not, so shut it! I'm used to people thinking the worst of me. It's nothing new. A million things. I travel, meet lots of interesting people, have scandalous affairs, fight wars... Find and lose love, thanks to a beaten-up library card and a world that wants little to do with me. When I got sent away, I had no one. For years, no one. I learned to live in books. Real people disappoint you, or they die, or go missing, or they just change. With a book, people always learn to see the hero for who she is in the end. Not such a bad thing to wish for, huh? Did it upset her? Oh, I wish I could have seen it. Reenact it for me now. You be Clara. Show me what happened. Spoil sport. What was even the point then? No, no, no. Maybe. Because I want her to be sad every single day of her miserable little life. And I had a hunch it would be funny. Was I right? Yeah, I was. <laughs> you just don't want to say it. Wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't I like to know? <laughs> what answer do you want me to say? Are you looking for a yes or a no? Or the, ah, the in-between one? Oh, now that I can't help you with. I don't function well in reality. No. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? You do? Well, then, gotta fly. Then shh. Use your inside of a crypt voice. You don't tell me enough. It doesn't work that way. When it's time to find out, you'll find out. I promise you. Promise. If I didn't love her so much, I would hate her beyond the great beyond. Golden child, Charlotte. She was perfect in everyone's eyes, even mine. I wanted to be her when I grew up. But then one day I was older than my older sister. And older still today. Yes. Yeah, we was a regular Tom and Huck to start. <laughs> but then the rapids and the rocks crushed our little raft to splinters. And now we stare each other down from opposite sides of that Russian river. I think I'd like you to leave me alone now, please. Revisionist. I suppose next you'll say Wade spent a year earning merit badges at Camp Mandatory. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Just who are you? Of course. Well, that depends. Can you be trusted? Why not? Are you ignoring my question? Okay. Could you tell me now? You what? That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. I... Why are you here? Why not here? Are you trying to find Jessalyn? Workers? Took who? Do you really believe in the ghost? What exactly did her ghost say? Huh. <sighs> I still don't understand why you're hiding. I trust you. I trust them far more than you. What do you know about Clara? Were you and Clara close as children? You don't have to go into it. I'd really like to know. It might be important. What do you think of Wade? Tell me about Charlotte. Do you really think she's... How do you know? I'm sorry I asked. That's not true at all. 
I lost my mom when I was a girl, but sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You were working with Jocelyn this whole time. Clara said you had a troubled childhood. Is that true? Why did your family send you away? Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I really upset Clara, thanks to you. You made me upset a woman whose daughter is missing. Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? All right, I won't tell. And I doubt that. You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. I think I understand why you were hiding now. Are you the one writing the notes I keep finding? Do you know why seeing an old film of Charlotte's birthday would upset Clara that much? Quite a bit. I really don't want to do that. Did you leave that out for me to find? Why? No. Where do you live when you're not here? Have you been talking to Wade? Just the truth. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. No. At this point, yes. Where have you been? Enough. You have to tell me what you're doing. Can you tell me more about Charlotte? Why? Clara came to live with you after her mom died. Is that right? Did you get along? Did you really push Clara off a widow's walk? Clara says that you really went to a boarding school, not a sanitarium.